Hey guys, Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 here. Welcome back to more of my 2019 edition of the walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP. This is part number 15, and um, viewers, you may be wondering, why am I recording this in the morning on a, on a school day? Why, why am I recording this in the morning on a school day? Well, um, I'm doing this before I go to school because uh, the time right now, the time is 7.20 a.m. and I go to school at 8.15. So let's log in. Oh, I forgot to turn on the speaker, by the way, so I turned it on after I logged on, so. <clears throat> let's hope the sound isn't too loud. So yeah, um... I think the last time I did a part on this walkthrough was probably on Saturday, May 25th, I think. So I... Oh, okay. So I think it's been like three days since I did this, so... I guess it won't hurt to do it, I, I think. So, yeah, um... No wonder why I'm doing this like on a... on a... on a... on the morning of a school day, because, I mean... I can't go to school until 8.15. This is why I'm doing it. So, yeah, I'm just trying to do this to catch up. So, yeah, in the previous part, we did, like, a Microsoft Money 2004 tutorial in the previous part. It was on, uh, let's just say that it was on categorizing transactions. And let's say that this part that we're doing right now, it's going to be on working with backup files for the tutorial. Oh, by the way, I, I just hope the taskbar shows up because, yeah, um, you know, yesterday I've been, you know, probably like Sunday and yesterday I've been I've been really busy with lots of stuff, but yeah, you really thought that you know this would be like done for, but it's not. So it's still going on. We are still not done with this walkthrough because we only need to get up to part twenty-five. Because there's 25 parts in this walkthrough. Anyway, we have to wait for the start button to show up. Especially the taskbar, so. Viewers, I don't really think we should keep waiting this long. We'll be right back. Alright, I'm back now. Um, I just had to wait until, like, the... You know, I just had to wait until the start menu and the taskbar showed up. I finally have waited. I see the start button now. We'll be waiting for the start menu to show up. So then when the start menu shows up, we'll be able to get ready for the next one, which of course personally it's on like, you know, the tutorial for uh another Microsoft money tutorial, which it's on working with backup files. I don't see anything. Oh, I think I do. Alright, let's move on. I clicked on my computer application. Let's click that. Mm -mm -mm. Man, I'm very glad that, you know, this computer has the Dell Solution Center. It's pretty old, like, look at this computer. Not to mention, you see the Dell Solution Center on here. See that? No wonder why this computer was made from Dell. This is like an old computer. Alright, all we need now, we're going to wait for this computer to load up the, you know, we're going to, let's wait for it to load up the, the My Computer app. So, once again, viewers, we'll be right back. I had me a wife, I had me some daughters, I tried so hard, I never do still waters, nothing to eat and nothing to drink, nothing for a man to do but sit around and think, nothing for a man to do but sit around and think. I hear the rain, I hear the rain, I hear the rain, God to kill the pain. I hear the rain, I hear the rain, I hear the rain, God to kill the pain. 
been five minutes. Uh, yeah, we're back, of course. You know, if you don't know what I was singing to, I was singing to, you know, I Hear the Rain and Country Deaf Song by Violent Femmes. I've heard those songs before, so yeah. Anyway, we're looking at this flashlight right here. See, it's loading, uh, it's loading all the stuff right now. Um, it'll, it'll show up the drive soon. Just give it some time. Oh, and what's this? It's freaking Embark Security News. We don't need that. We don't need that. I said we don't need that. We don't want this to be a waste, seriously. Is it loading? Like, why? Oh, it's gone. Okay. Wait. I thought it was gone. You know what? Forget it. Let's just go to the local C drive. And then move on to program files. Microsoft Money, Media, AV Help. And then the file we're going to click on is 18BF. And BF, it doesn't stand for boyfriend, it stands for backup files. So let's watch the tutorial of Microsoft Money 2004 on working with backup files. So let's take a look right now. Look, I'm trying to exit from Microsoft Money, and it's asking if I want to make a backup. Is this the same thing as saving our file? No. Our money file is actually saved automatically whenever we enter a transaction. And whenever we close money, it automatically makes a backup copy of our file on our hard disk. But every couple of weeks, or however often we want, Money will ask if we'd like to make a backup copy of our file on a floppy disk. That makes sense. So if something happens to one file, like it gets lost or corrupted for some reason, we have another file to fall back on. And if something happens to our computer's hard disk, we have a copy of our file on a floppy disk. Well, you and I both know it's always a good policy to have two or three copies of anything important. Right. Especially where our financial records are concerned. Does it have to be saved on a floppy disk? Could we save it to another disk drive? We can save it anywhere we want. We just go to the Tools menu, click Options. Let me guess. The Backup tab. You got it. So it always saves a backup on our hard disk automatically. And however often we specify, it'll save another backup somewhere else. Like on our removable disk drive. But if our removable disk drive doesn't show up here for some reason, we can always just copy the backup file we made on our hard drive to the removable disk drive later. And this is where we can tell money to compress our file, so it doesn't take up too much room. That's especially important if we decide to keep our backup files on a floppy disk. We click OK, and our file backup options are set the way we want. So this backup file, is it just like any other money file? No, it's different. It's a compressed backup file. If we want to open it, money needs to decompress it to its normal size and then convert it to a regular money file. So, suppose, for whatever reason, we need to use our backup file. What would we do? First, we find the backup. If we're using a backup stored on our hard disk, we click Restore Backup on the File menu. Okay, and then click Restore from a backup file. And click Next. This is easy. It shows us where our backup file is and the last time it was changed. We can look at all the information to make sure it's the right file. Here are the file names, the date, and the size. And if we want a different backup file, like the one from our floppy disk, I bet we click Open a Different Backup File. Right. Money searches our computer for any other backup files. How does Money recognize a backup file? By the file name extension. A regular Money file has three letters after its name, MNY. The file name extension for a Money backup file is MBF. So, when Money finds all our backup files, we just pick the one we want. And then click Restore. We confirm the location where we want the file to go, as well as the file name we want it to have. This file name needs to be unique, so we don't accidentally overwrite another backup, or overwrite the Money file itself. Money converts the backup to a regular file. So it's changing the MBF file to an MNY file. And it opens it up for us. We can check to make sure the file has the information we need. If it doesn't, we can restore a different backup. Here's another question. Since we just bought a new computer, we now have two. One for you and one for me. 
But our money file is on the old computer. What if we decide we want to move it to the new one? We can just save the backup file on a floppy disk. We can then copy from the disk onto the new computer. But a floppy disk only holds 1.44 megabytes. What if the file is bigger than that? Our money file grows larger as we add more and more transactions. Couldn't it become as big as 6 megabytes or more? We don't have to worry about it. Money knows to break up the file to fit onto multiple floppy disks. Oh, then when we restore the file on our new computer, it puts the file back together. But we need to be sure to keep our copies straight so we don't mix up our actual money file. It's easy to manage our money files when we need to. I agree. And with backup files, we can be sure that our information and money is safe and secure. That's it for the tutorial on working with backup files. Um, there's only one more left, and yeah, the last, the last one, the last tutorial. This will be for the next part, and it'll, it'll be on banking online with money. So yeah, and yeah, since this is a school day that I have to, you know, because there's only like 32 minutes until I go to school, because the, the time is 7:43 a.m. And I have to go to school at 8.15 a.m. So we got to end this video already because I've got, like, school. So let's turn off the computer. All right. So, yeah, viewers, um, that's about it for part 15 of this 2019 edition of the walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. Part 16 will be the next part, but I don't know when I'll do it. Maybe possibly on the last day of school. We'll do that. Anyway, viewers, see you guys next time. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Peace out.